Hello, good afternoon from France. This is a summer afternoon in France, in my city, Chartres, which is um, one, one hour away from Paris. You can hear the dogs barking. They are barking, the dogs. Go, go, go everywhere. This is France for you because uh, people love animals. There are 60,000 dogs and cats in France and they are all licensed so um, this is not why I'm here anyway I'm here to talk about the news everywhere this is your host Supreme Johnson on a review of uh, African news and analysis all the way from France now we can't help it because uh, we have our ears open and as a journalist it's my job to, like the Nigerians say, put my mouth for the story. So the story is uh, hot this uh, week, like starting from two weeks ago. The first story is um, horrible. The story of uh, organ trafficking. Yeah, the big man was caught, but he is not guilty as of the moment because he has pleaded not guilty and I've been following this news. But the takeaway in this uh, news, the organ trafficking or um, organ harvesting or human trafficking or exploitation, like it was mentioned, and, uh, and um, he is going to face all the charges in London. This is not where I am going in this story. My take in this story, it's just to let the Nigerian politicians to know that it is in their responsibility to build hospitals. So in the case of Ekwerimado and the wife, they have got three children from the news I got, and then their daughter is uh, sick in the hospital. Oh, poor girl, we can say. But now, what could have been logical in my own analysis is that the Ekwerimados could have taken the organ from members of the family. Yeah, it could have been nice to take the organ from members of the family, but no, they decided to take the organ from someone outside the family. Uh, that's the Nigerian spirit. For me, I go straight to the point. This is wickedness. <laughs> they are wicked. Or oh, they want to do business, let's say, let's put it that way. Why not go to your family and harvest organs there? Why um, have you decided to go outside your family while the organs that could have been compatible are from your family? So that's one point, and this is what I want to establish, first of all. Then the second point is, there are so many hospitals in Nigeria. Yes, the boy, we don't care if he's underage or he's uh, 21 years. This harvesting of organ, it might not be legal, it might not be illegal. So I'm in between legal and illegality. Could have been done in Nigeria, in Nigerian hospitals. But no, the rich men in Nigeria and the politicians and the, the government and everybody, they want to go outside for medical care. And that's what's very funny. Uh, lately, we heard that a good number of them were paying 100 million to have a form. 100 million to have a form if all the politicians that pay that amount of money I mean the Nigerian corrupt politicians that pay that amount of money decided to build three hospitals in one state they could have been going to London and uh, Ekwerimado couldn't have fallen into this mess because his case has been charged now to the criminal court so who knows what's going to happen 